What's up, guys? I just got out of the shower. Anyway, this video is about just watching uh, pigs, and I'll narrate it a little bit for you and kind of explain what I do while I'm watching pigs. So I'm going to cut the light off, and we'll go from there. So I watch pigs a lot, is what I do. As you can see, these pigs are moving around and whatnot. They're really carrying on. Got, um, Sarah, I'm sorry. I keep watching the screen when I should be watching uh, how I'm holding the camera. But as you can see, uh, several pigs come in, they go out. It's, it was really, they were all laying there just a minute ago, but this is how they do. And this is how I learned how to trap pigs or how I'm gonna end up trapping pigs. Uh, when it, once I put the trap up. I didn't get the trap up today. I got out there and got everything and then I had to leave early. So I didn't get the trap up today. But I've been watching these hogs for a couple of days, kind of seeing how many is in the group uh, or how many groups it is. And this is just one group right here and it's another group. And they'll end up meeting up with one another later. Uh, but normally as you can see, they kind of push one another around. And what I try to explain to people all the time is about uh, making sure that hogs, when you go trying to trap, you know, your feed needs to be centered. And what happens is these hogs got to kind of learn to be shoulder to shoulder eating. You know, in life, in uh, the wild or whatever you want to call it, they're always scavenging for the food. They want to be able to get the bite. They want to be able to be the one to eat. So they're always competitive with one another, always pushing one another around. So they got to kind of learn, uh, how to eat side by side, kind of like in a buffet line. So as you can see here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven or eight pigs. And there's still some coming in the back right there. Uh, looks like from what I can see on, from, you may not be able to see on the camera, but back here in the back, there looks like more hogs are coming in. And there's always a bully. There's always groups that can't get along with one another, stuff like that. It's really starting to fill in right now. Uh, like I said, that's a pretty good pile of pigs there, I, I would say. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grown, and then there's a bunch of little ones in there. And I think it's like six or seven, four, five, six, seven of those little ones. And once you get pigs pretty much learning to eat side by side, uh, it doesn't take long to be able to trap them, I guess. Usually I can trap them on night three. And uh, Anyway, as you can see, this is the hog guy camera system. It's 8.42 at night. Now you can see, see how that, that pig nudged its head and the rest of them just backed up? It's weird because some pigs are like the dominant they're scared of, and then some pigs, like the little piglets, they ain't worried about nothing. You know, they're just in there chowing down. As you can see right there, this is a pile of pigs right there. There you go, there's a better look at them. Kind of spread out, you know. Oh, I don't know how many pigs that is, but uh, I'll go back. I'll be counting here. I'll try to count them best I can while holding this phone. But as you see, it's seven, eight, nine grown pigs. And then uh, my camera kind of froze up a little bit for service. Uh, they kind of stuck there. So that, I guess when I was wanting to count, I guess they just froze up and let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, so what happened the other night? I had a, I actually had a pig. Uh, hit the whole thing but anyways it's froze up so what i'll do usually when that happens i can tell a lot of times when it's froze up it's because it's numbers my time is not moving and it'll kick back in sometimes but we'll uh as you can see i got notifications on this thing i can go to let's see yeah there's notifications and that was like uh the second notification i believe that i got uh, i was out there cutting the grass so we'll go to the first pig trap so you can see they kind of come in at 818 and they're still eating at what 842 i think we said so you can see it's, a, it's like a really black hog right there in the back really dark looking hog but anyway so we'll go to camera and then we'll hit the play button again and see how it goes see if it comes back up and what might have happened was uh oh, i just lost signal due to something you never know but it'll, if it don't come back up, we'll give it a little bit and uh, watch the hogs and whatnot. So it's not a big deal. Sometimes that thing just acts funny due to the weather or whatnot. But I just want to give you an idea of what's going on. And we'll, and I'll wait back up later and kind of really show you uh, some more stuff as well. 
All right, guys, I'm back. It's 8.46, only took a couple minutes. Sometimes it does that, but I actually went to my YouTube a while ago and I wouldn't get any signal on that. So it's just probably my internet connection out here, but you can really see the amount of hogs in there that's really coming in, eating on that corn. Uh, once you establish a bait site, once you get them in there, usually you need to let hogs eat for about five days. I usually let them eat about five days in a row, kind of like a buffet. You get them used to coming in every night because they have to get used to actually eating side by side. I mean, they just want to push each other around. They're fighting over the corn. Uh, you'll see the little pigs in the middle there. They'll eventually just lay down in it and the big pigs will just eat around them. So you can see as they get closer and kind of get lined up there, that pig trap will actually be about the rear part of that hog right there. So once that hog was to put his nose in that pile and, and see those hogs on the back, they're at, the, they're at the back side of that corn pile is what they're at. So once they all got nosed up to that corn and get relaxed, because it takes a while to get relaxed. As you can see that pig, he wants to eat, but the other ones keep nudging at him. And, and I don't know what the dominance, who's dominant, who ain't, because you see that right there, he just flipped that little pig over. I mean, they just do that. And uh, you can see I got a little pig. Oh, another pig out there, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven grown, and then a, and then a group of little Schultz, I guess. They're not really pigs, they're Schultz. So they're really kicking up the dust out there. But uh, I just want to learn, this is what I do. I sit here and watch, watch hogs, and I figure out, basically, you know, if I got a bully in the group, it's hard to tell the difference when they're all the same size, but you'll have, I got a big old boar hog that's been coming in. And when he comes in, you know, he just kind of starts pushing everywhere, everybody else away. And it really causes a, a ruckus. But you can see right here, if that hog right there to the right, well, now this one's done left. See how it does? It just takes time. And so now you got two hogs on the outside. Uh, the ease up there, you can kind of see on the lights, not showing good over there. But once they was to ease on up there and, and be relaxed, I could drop that trap and... Uh, you would have that whole group, uh, hopefully. You would have that whole group, and that'd probably be somewhere between 16 and 20 hogs in there counting those those shows. And uh, and that's how you want it, you know? It, 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 that's that's how I do it. And uh, But I just learn hogs, and I like to learn it a minute. See, that's a big old sow right there that just pushed through there. Big old sow. And then that's another sow right there with the hind end showing us, I believe. It looked like she had some uh, sagging boobs there, so. I think it was now. I may be wrong. It may have been. But as you can see, they're just, they just get wild like that. And a lot of people don't understand, don't, don't see that and how that works. So any which way, as you can see, we kind of froze up again. But there it goes back to playing a little bit. But uh, like I said, it's just my internet connection. I'm at my trailer hood. I have no Wi-Fi. All this is off. If this was regular Wi-Fi, uh, I'd be rolling. So it's kind of just skipping at the moment. But that's that's fine. I don't catch hogs when it skips, but look right there. You see before that hog jumped right there. She's just really getting mean. She just really wants to eat. Scatters the group out again. And but you can really kind of see how many hogs it laying in the corn or, or in the middle section of that corn. So anyway, but always when you're trapping, keep eye on this number up here. If that number ain't moving, it's just kind of froze up or kinds of skips. But uh, depending on service and whatnot, it's just, you know, and, and my Wi-Fi, I don't even have Wi-Fi, so my country cable out here I got going on. So that's how I do it, and uh, maybe we'll get a little bit of uh, action from the big boar hog later, and I'll show you how they kind of, you've seen the mount, and I'll kind of show you it's 8.49 now, and uh, we'll get some action. I'll show you some action later tonight maybe, and uh, we'll go from there and see how, like I said, they get full and full. There'll be less and less hogs until it's just pretty much all gone. And then I hope to set the trap pretty soon. Any which way, I hope you kind of enjoyed that part. See y'all in a little while. All right, guys, I'm just gonna get ready to go to bed. And it's 9, 10, so it's only been, you know, 20 minutes or so since the last look. But as you can see, the peas have kind of calmed down a little spot right there. Um, it's a big boar hog in the back. You kind of see that hump on him right there. That's a pretty good boar hog. You can't really tell with the other hogs in front of him, but uh, it seems to be having, I think it was, I think it's gonna be eight or nine total big pigs, and then it's gonna be uh, several little pigs. 
uh, in the middle there. You can see they're already laying down. Once they start getting hungry, I mean, start getting full from everything, they'll start just laying down. That's what pigs do. They just lay down and eat. They eat till they get tired. They don't even eat till they get full. And uh, you can see another pig's done moved in, but any which way, this is how we kind of scout, tur uh, scout not turkeys, how we scout pigs out, uh, kind of watch them, de demeanor, learn when they're full. And that's the difference between using the hog eye camera system and uh, the camera systems that just send a picture text. Because if uh, a lot of times you can have pictures, you can, get, you can catch this picture of a hog and you think you're going to have them in a trap and you go to drop waiting on the next picture. Next thing you know, uh, as you've seen before, like this old sow over here, she'll uh, she'll nudge your head and kind of scatter them out. So you may not have caught what you were hoping to catch. Uh, but any which way, as you can see right there, if, if they just tighten up a little bit, uh, right there on that right side, which as long as their head's in that corn, they're gonna be in that trap on the edge of that corn. So anywho, I kind of give y'all idea how we do it in, in the scouting part and why I'm so successful at it uh, in general. So I guess, but. There's many ways to trap pigs, but this is the way I do it, and this is the way I like to do it. And uh, so any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless, and as always, Jesus loves you.